I'm okay, Daddy. I'm gonna be just fine. She's alive? Hey, how have you been? Pretty good. When did you get back in town? Last night. Jurors are still out, I hear? Yeah, I figured I should be here for Nathan. He didn't kill that man. How you been holding up? As best I can. Sorry I didn't return any of your phone calls. After the wedding, I left town, went to my showcase in New York, then took a trip to Greece. All I had with me was my book bag and my Bible. I needed that time away, with God, by myself. It was nothing personal. I understand. Well, I should get going. My mom's waiting for me back at the house. She is going to drive me insane. <laughs> It can't be that bad. You don't know my mother. Well, I'll let you go. It was real good seeing you. I miss you. Oh, maybe we can do lunch. <clears throat> or maybe not. I'm sorry. No, no. I'd love that, Kim. But you let me know when you're ready. Okay. house on the market. Mom, we talked about this already. I know, but there's so many memories here. What? I hate what he did, but he loves you, baby girl. I am so tired of folks telling me that. My goal is to just move on. I've forgiven him, but I don't trust him, Mom. Come the end of this week, our divorce will be final. I have to go. Okay. I'll be praying for you. Thanks. Father, you are in control. You set the pace for each of our lives. Have your way over this marriage. Help them both to heal and trust you, Lord. Maybe she isn't coming. She'll be here. It's hard getting around with the newborn. Little Eli is a cutie. 
I saw a few pictures. He is adorable. You should call her. Make sure everything's okay. How about you call her? That would be best for both parties involved. I'm strictly here for Nathan. Nothing more. We're having a christening for Eli. You did that too. I'm not following you. Isn't that a Catholic thing? It's considered an infant baptism. I read somewhere that christening refers to naming ceremony of some type. I don't see why we need to do that. He has a name already. Okay, then I'll say baptism. Eli's getting baptized. I love you. Are you hearing me? <laughs> yes, but I want him to be the one to say he wants to do it. I've been reading the Bible, and it seems to me that baptism is a personal thing between God and the person. It's an outward expression of a rebirth in him, or something like that. I'm not sure if that's right or not. You're, you're on it. When did you start reading the Bible? <laughs> when you get mad and go off to the guest room. I can't sleep. I noticed the Bible and I stand and I started reading it. <laughs> it's actually interesting. Yes, yes it is. Let's talk more about this tonight. That would give you some time to research what you were talking about. You shouldn't just do things just to do them. <laughs> do you even understand half of the Bible you follow? Excuse you. I'm late for work. We'll pick up this conversation tonight. And that's how I was for the longest time. Like, I tried to watch it so many Okay, maybe she isn't coming. Nope, there she is. I'm sorry. I tried to call. You look wonderful. Thanks. I'm glad you're back. So much is going on. Michelle and I have attended most of Nathan's trial. I hear it went well. Nathan's looking pretty good. Not really. They found his DNA all over the condo. The weapon was in his possession. He's adamant that he didn't kill him. Then why was he there? We don't know. Care to share? What's wrong? What happened? Just breathe. It's going to be okay. He was there. Who was where? Man, Chris? You said the reception. Damn. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I didn't see that. Did he hurt you? Leave hands on him. He talked. You told me that you two slept together? Is that true? It's true. Why did we go through all of this? Wedding? Baptism? It, it was before all of this. I stopped. I called it off, baby. I swear. Are you still in love with me? I love you. After that, I had him take me home, and he left. I don't know where he went. I assumed he went to see Chris. I'm so sorry, Michelle. Did you say that on the stand? I told the truth. What would you have me do? Exactly what you did. Tell the truth. It's just, those strangers don't know Nathan like we do. And your testimony gave motive to them. I can't believe his lawyers let you take the stand with that. So it's my fault that he killed a man? You think he did it? Yes. How can you say that? 
You should know Nathan better than any of us. He told me he did it. He told me he didn't do it. Ladies, come on, this isn't helping. So what do we do now? Just wait for the verdict? Yes. Hey, what you doing? Reading. It's been years since I could just do that. How are you feeling? <sighs> Today's a better day. My flight gets in a little late tonight. I'm gonna take a taxi over to your place. I can get you. No, just rush, yeah? Is Kim standing there while she's in town? <sighs> yes, and her mom's here too. Man, I might just get a hotel room. Kim's always about that drama. <clears throat> she's only here for a few days. But I need my little brother. Look, I miss you. I don't need you worrying about me either. Yeah, well, if I don't, who will? Okay. Did Dad have you say that? You know him. When does your chemo treatment start? The first one's tomorrow. You told anyone yet? No, I don't plan to. Man, you should. Look, look I said no. Now respect my wishes, okay? Fine. I promise. What are you smiling about? Cereal. You still eat that for dinner? Yeah. It's a damn champions, I like to say. Are you hungry? I mean, if you're willing to cook, I can eat. Okay, let me see what you have in these cabinets. Bare minimum. What have you been eating? Take out. Junk food? You know the stuff that's no good for you. Can't you see the difference in my body? No. You actually look a lot skinnier from the last time I saw you. I'll run to the store and get a few things. That's okay. It's late. And I can go down with whatever you have. I haven't seen your mom since you got here. Where is she? Church. And Jamal? How's he? He's good. Excited about spending time with me. I miss that no play, eh? It'll be nice seeing him. And I won't be crazy this time. He's gonna think that there's something wrong with me. He already thinks that. I'm taking Sophia out tomorrow. How's things been going there? I told Selena I want to tell Sophia. She asked me to give her some time, so that's why I am with that. It won't wait forever. Seems fair. Lying only hurts people. Are you sure you're doing okay? Yep. Excited about school being out? Not really. Oh? Why? I'll have to be around Keith more. Eli's all right when he's not crying, but it's getting old. <laughs> getting old? Okay. I'm glad you're back, though. It feels good to be back home. How was Greece? Nice. It was nice. Are you staying? Maybe. I don't want to lie to you, Soph. And you and Godfather. Our divorce will be finalized on Friday. Why can't you and Godfather just work it out? We tried. Try again, please. It's not that easy, Sophia. If you're weak and need some strength, just turn to God. He'll see you through. Search for the Lord in his strength. Continuously seek him. I see someone's been paying attention in Sunday school. My gift, you're not going to listen. Good point. Keith just sits there, takes a lot of notes, and comes home and tries to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with my mom on every aspect of it. What happened to having faith? Jeez, 
Nobody knows everything but God. Well, well. I'm just saying, Keith gets on my nerves at times. <laughs> oh, I've missed you. It's not like he hits her, but it's like he cuts her with his words. Does that make sense? Yes. I don't ever want to be alone with him. He is off. I always felt that way about him, even in school. You know if anything ever happens, you need to tell me. And your mother, of course. And if need be, Nathan has no problem handling a situation, if a situation does ever arise. He didn't do it. I know it. I know it too. He'll be free here soon, and everything will be back to normal. Everyone was gone this summer. Ad, Nathan, you, even my mom seemed to be gone. I'm here now. I'm sorry. Regardless of where I might be, I'm always available for you, Soph. FaceTime, text, call, anytime. Okay. Will you tell me why you stopped talking to my mom like you used to? Maybe when you're older. I'm old enough. She lied. Okay. We all talked about something. I mean, we shouldn't, but... Uh-huh. Well, this was a big lie. They had a ripple effect on everyone involved. Did it involve me? That's all I'm gonna say about it. It must be bad. Is that why you and Godfather broke up? Yes. What could they do that would cause? When you're older. Now, help me get all this stuff packed up. They fell in love. What are you talking about, Sophia? My mom and Godfather cheated on you. I'm right. You are one smart cookie. I'm not sure I wanted you knowing about that. It was one time and... And what? I've forgiven them. And I expect you to do the same. I will. I'm upset about what they did. But if you can forgive, then I can too. That's the Jesus way. Now all I have to do is get everyone back together. Oh Lord. It's getting bigger. Yes. We need to tell her. It could be too much for her. I think she can handle it. It's too much for me. Huh? What's going on? What will she think of me? I can't lose her love too. I get where you're coming from, Selena. You're her mom. She'll always love you. But it's not just about you. We can't hide in the sin forever. I asked God to forgive me and he did. I lost my wife because of what we did. A woman I love. I won't lie to my daughter. I won't lose her too. I'll give you time to do it, but not too much. If you can't do it, I will. I told you! It's over! Where is it? What the hell are you talking about? Sick woman! 
one phone call and you'll be locked up. I give up. I tried and you said you wanted to try too. What was that at the wedding? A show? Apparently for your benefit. And you didn't try anything. I tried. Only to find out that you never stopped. Did you even try? Jesus, please help me. Moses kept his eye on the one that was invisible. He was focused. Why do I care? They have a child together. Long day already? Yeah. You wanna have myself? Actually, yes. Y'all really gonna do it this time? Yes. You know you cheated once. And you didn't even know about soap. Your point? You've been crazy for years. And he's never left you. I'm not like him. Or your friends. I'm gonna tell you like it is. My brother should've left you a long time ago. You're probably right. Church seemed to change a bit. No, God did that. Do you love my brother? Yes. Then don't go on Friday. I'm confused. First you say he should have left me a long time ago. Now you're telling me not to finalize the divorce. It's not the right time. Why? That's all I can say about that. Jamal, what is going on? Hello? They've reached a verdict. Okay. 9 a.m. Can you make it? I'll be there. Morning. Morning. Well? Baby's down for his nap. Okay. God, Mom's here! Have you eaten yet? No, I rushed over right after I hung up. Figured it'd be easier if we all just rode over together. Michelle should be here soon. Yay! Stay for breakfast! Please! Sure. You still like French toast? With nutmeg? Eli's Christmas. I mean, dedication ceremony is at the end of the month. You're coming, right? Maybe. We might have to push it back. Huh? Pastor schedule school? 
No, nothing like that. Just trying to work out everything, that's all. It's him. He doesn't want Eli to be baptized. Why did you marry him if he doesn't believe in God or Jesus Christ? Grown folks' business. No, it's God's business. It's not right that he doesn't pray with us or go to church with us. Now he's stopping my brother from being baptized. It's not right. I hate him. I wish my dad was here. Sophia, come on. Give your mom a break. That's for your dad. Here. It's been hard trying to forgive her. Excuse me? I know. Know what? About you and God, Father. You're in love with him. And who told you that? It's the truth. Right? It's not a discussion for kids. I'm not a baby anymore. I will not talk about this with you. Now go get ready for school. Take me back with you, please. I can't do that. Your mom would be heartbroken if you left her. She doesn't need me. She has keys. Sophia, you stop it right now. You will not speak about me in this way. Now go to your room and stay there until I say you can come out. Now! You told my daughter. You had no right to do that. I am her mother. I messed up, Kim. And I don't know how to fix it. I need help. What exactly do you need? Prayer. Will you pray for me? Will you pray with me? Why are you doing this? It's not fair. I have a right to be mad at you. You hurt me. She hurt me. Yes, I did. And I'm so sorry about that, Kimberly. I can't even express how sorry I am about what I did. But I just can't give up on our friendship. Our sisterhood. I think about how Jesus, when Peter, who he loved and who loved him, denied him. How he forgave him. How he loved him even after the fact. I'm not Jesus. I get it. You hate me. You don't love me. I'll leave you be. I'm only here for Nathan. Nothing else. I apologize. Well, really, I don't. I told Sophia the truth, and I won't apologize for that. What? You don't have kids, so you have no understanding of what children need to know and not know. I'm a parent, not you. If you can't respect that, I don't want you around my daughter anymore. How did she take the news about Derek being her dad? What? Let's get you to the school bus. Are you talking about me? <sighs> Sophia, now! No! Is it true? Selena, do the right thing. It's true. Does he know? He didn't know until a few months ago. You lied, Mama. Again. Everything okay, ladies? No, but we have to get going. You okay? I don't know. Do you think you'll be able to make it through school today? Yes. I'll text Eric and have him come pick you up. He will not be picking her up. Now get out of my house. Look, we don't have time for this. I said get out of my house! What about Nathan? I'll meet you there, but Kimberly and I are done.
Are you okay? I'm fine. I just heard. I want to make sure you're okay. Well, she took some of her sleep meds and passed out. I... Um, this is awkward. Maybe I should... No. I'll leave. Look, we aren't in college anymore. Let's talk about this like grown folks. Sit. This bullshit right here is getting old, and I don't have time to be diving back into it. Nathan is in prison. They gave him life. I just don't see it. He murdered a man? Really? I am so broken. I was barely keeping it together after you two. I'm sorry, Kim. I've lost a brother, a sister, and a husband. You didn't lose me. I'm sorry. It wasn't my place to tell Sophia. But I'll never forget what you did to me. We can't be friends. I'm trying, Father, but it's so hard. I know you want me to forgive her. And you want me to pray for her, too. I don't know why you keep calling me to mess up daily with my actions and thinking. You love me, even though Father, thank you for loving me. Thank you for making something out of nothing. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for being so faithful and dependable. Thank you for saving my life. There is no one like you, Lord, and you deserve all the praise and glory forever, Lord. I am free because of you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding me and blocking me. 
leading me and counseling me. Help me, Father, to listen to your commands, to trust in you always. Help me to forgive others as you have forgiven me. Help me to love others as you have loved me. Lord, let me see others as you see them. Fill me with your wisdom. Remove the veil of pride, fear, envy, hate, and anything else that is blocking me from seeing your will in my life. I pray for my sister in Christ. I don't know everything that's going on in her life, but you do, Lord. I pray for increase in her life. I ask that you cover her and protect her family. I pray for healing in her heart, Father, on so many levels. That she trust you and turn back to you. Sit in your presence, seeking your will for her life. Most of all, I pray that you heal our friendship. Restore and grow us in you, Lord. I do love her. And your word says that true love endures even when it hurts. Oh, Jesus, I pray. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Okay, now what did I do? What do you ask them? Your face? I'm worried about you. And Derek. We're fine. One more day. Uh-huh. I have to get to the station. Station? Police? Why? I'm meeting with this detective. What for? It's over now. It's done. Nathan didn't kill that man. He did it. I believe he's innocent. You also didn't believe he was gay, and that was a lie. I really don't think he is. And even if he was, that doesn't make him a murderer. Yeah, well, what does sleeping with a man make you? A sinner, just like, someone's, just like sleeping with someone who isn't your husband. <sighs> That's different. How so? Does the Bible lay out the worst sin above others? You need to just leave this alone. What would Jesus do? He'd fight for me. He doesn't love the sin, but he loves me. A second chance to get it right. Isn't that what we, the body of Christ, should do? Help someone who's crying out for help? How do you help that? By loving God with all your heart, your mind, body, and soul. Then loving others the way that he's loved you. And God will take care of the rest. You just have to trust in God and let the Holy Spirit lead you. The church is very hard on this topic. We rarely talk about it except to say we have no tolerance for it. And I get that, Mama. But what happens when you have an addict at your doorstep begging for a second chance? Asking for help? Do you just turn them away without even trying to help them? I, I don't know. Yes, we have no tolerance for the sin. But we love, we pray, we care. We let them know that Jesus is the only way. And we pass on our own testimony of how God continues to deliver us from our own sin. That's all we can do. I'll pray for him. 
but when you dabble in sin, there are always consequences. I know from personal experience. Yes, it's death. Death on a spiritual level. Separation from the Father. I get my little fight it for Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I spent way too much time in the mess. Now I'm fighting my way through it with Jesus right by my side. You can ask me anything and I'll answer it honestly. Did my dad know? No. Does Keith know? Yes. Are you mad about it? I'm not mad about you being my daughter. No. But I was mad at your mother for not telling her. So what happens now? Nothing really changes. I would like to see you more though. We can come up with a schedule. I'd like that. Could I stay with you this weekend? I don't see a problem with that. Derek? I'd love that. <laughs> Not now. What have we done? Michelle, everything okay? Yes, yes. Are you here for a Bible study? No. Okay. I should go. Hey, why don't you stay? It's a pretty good study tonight. We've been talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Not really my scene. I said the same thing once. How did you get back? I overcame the guilt and the shame by trusting in what Jesus did for me on the cross. You really believe that stuff? I really do. And deep down inside, I know you do too. Hey, what's wrong? I can't go back inside that church. Not after everything. Lies. The enemy tells you to keep you from your healing grace in God. I'm beyond healing. Michelle, whatever it is, it's not too big for our God. Regardless of what you've done or may feel, God loves you. <laughs> Kimberly, I'm sorry. It's time. So I was looking all over for you. <coughs> Tell you I'd be outside. <coughs> like your beanie. Keeps me warm. Bye. You need to tell Kimberly. Hell, you need to tell everyone who cares about you what's going on. How's everything going? So far, so good. The ladies seem to love this study. Good, good. <laughs> Are the godparents ready for the dedication ceremony? Oh. Excuse me. Deacon Smith needs to needs you for a second. Okay. Have a blessed week, Selena. How's everything been, Selena? Not good. Not good at all. Where do I start? I slept with Derek. I lied about it for years. We told Kimberly, and after some time she forgave us, but then I... 
told him that Sophia is his. And Kimberly found out. So I lost that friendship. Lost a sister. And then I started back to drinking to try and squash the pain. And I turned to sex and now I find myself in a marriage with a man I don't even love because I'm afraid of being alone. I'd like to pray for you. Is that okay? Yes. Prayer changes things. Have you asked God for forgiveness? Yes. Do you believe that Jesus died for all those sins? Yes. So, you are renewed in Him. Now, this is the hard part. You have to get up and start a heart change. Action. Have you done that? I think so. Last night, your name kept coming to my mind. I began to pray for you, not knowing what exactly you needed, but knowing that God knew. Then when I saw you this morning in service, I began praying again, still not understanding fully, but allowing the Holy Spirit to move. If you're up to it, I'd like to be your accountability partner, your prayer warrior. God is getting ready to heal that heart, child. I'm staying. With who? Derek said I could stay with him. He is no longer your son-in-law. A piece of paper doesn't change anything. Fine. So you sold your paintings and made some money. Now what? Seattle has nothing for me anymore. I have no husband, no friends. There's nothing for me here. Is that what God tells you? I haven't asked that. I don't want to be here. His will, not mine. When you enter into a relationship with the Father, you have to allow Him to order your footsteps. You have to trust Him. I don't want to do what He wants me to do. Trust me, I know how that feels. I thought that after I gave my life to Him, that would be it. I love you, Lord. Now let me be. It's just the beginning. Of a wonderful relationship with him, baby. It's scary because I can feel him changing my heart. The Holy Spirit is moving more freely in me. He keeps asking me if I'm willing to let go of what I think is freedom for true freedom in him. Hello? I accept. It's Nathan. Nathan! Kim? How are you? Do you need anything? It's hard. I can really use a friend now. Oh, Nathan. You got that. I'm here. I've been praying. I don't think he's listening to me anymore. I feel so alone. I don't hear him. He hears you, Nathan. Don't stop talking to him. I've tried, but I, I feel so ashamed again. I feel so disgusted. I can't seem to bring myself to talk to him about it. You have to be real with God. It's hard, I know. It was so hard for me to do. Once I got real with God, He became real in my life. I began to see Him in my daily surroundings. I began to hear Him. You have to admit what you did. Repent and ask for forgiveness. I don't know if I can do it. You can do it, Nathan. 
this whole situation you're in is going to be a testimony of how good our Father is. He is a merciful Father, but you have to go the distance. You have to allow the heart change to happen. Our Abba Father is right there. All you have to do is return to Him and repent with a willing attitude of wanting to change. I'm scared of him. Jehoshaphat was scared too. The word says he was terrified about the war ahead. He begged the Lord for guidance. He fasted. He sought the Lord for help. He prayed. He remembered how God had delivered his ancestors. He told God, I am powerless against this mighty army that's going to attack. I don't know what to do, and I'm seeking your help. And the Lord heard him, and he told him, Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the battle is not yours but God's. The Lord is with you, Nathan. Do you believe that? Do you trust God enough to choose Him? Choose life, Nathan. I must. I've been searching for love in all the wrong places, Lord. I should have just turned to you when my wife hurt me. In the midst of my confusion. I should have just come to you and asked for your guidance, protection, and help. I didn't know it was that simple. How can one change a heart attitude? Does it happen overnight? But I think I'm Paul. Yes, Lord. I remember who you are again inside. I'm so sorry for what I did, Bob. I'm so blind. So busy thinking I knew everything. Going to church, but having no relationship. But I want to know you, Lord. Be the seed that lands on the right soil. Nathan, God hears you and He knows your heart. He will restore you. Just wait on the Lord. You're in a season of your life where it's just you and Him. Read His Word, talk to Him, pray, listen, fast. Just be with him. Wait on him. Seek him. But most of all, be obedient to what he tells you to do. We grow in the midst of the stretching. Okay. Will you pray for me? Yes. I promise. I need healing for my soul, Kim. I need healing for my mind, healing for my heart. Will you love me enough to pray for me, David? Yes, I will do it. Will you come visit me? The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O oh Lord, endures forever. Yes, I will. I'm not leaving. I choose you, God. I choose you. Your will, your way, your time. Father, have your way. I'm willing.
It's funny how, when you make up your mind to do what God calls you to, a subtle distraction will appear and become a bigger distraction from your purpose if you allow it to. And unfortunately, you don't recognize it until it's too late. <laughs> I swear, this path can be so confusing at times, but it stays covered in God's grace. I'm ready. Let's start with tea first. Could it be that simple? Truly, Lord. I need you, Lord. Renew me. Restore me. Whatever it takes, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the blood. Hallelujah! Jesus reigns on high. My hope is in you, Jesus. My God is the God of second chances. His faithful love endures forever! Nathan! Everything alright? I'm better. There's a healing in this room with my name on it. <laughs> and I had to put a praise on it. Um, okay, well, your lawyer's here to see you. After visitation hours. For situations like this, she's able to come. Situations like this? Did something happen? Look, come on. The sooner you let me take you down there, the sooner you'll know. You mind if I ask you one more question? Ever heard about the living water? Jesus Christ. Yeah, a little. When I was a kid, parents took me to church for the holidays. Mind if I tell you about them as we walk? Sure, we can talk about whatever you want.
And yeah. 